Today, we'll show you how to make such a laser cut lamp and turn what you see into what you get. And we'll share some simple but practical skills in designing your own laser projects. To do this project, you need to use a Snapmaker 2.0 3-in-1 3D printer, an LED strip with a switch, a roll of PLA filament, several pieces of A4-sized paper, and some hot melt glue. Besides, you need to install Inkscape, a free vector graphics software on your computer. In the video, we'll use the Snapmaker A350 for demonstration. To make with an A250 or A150, you need to use smaller paper and set the patterns at a proper size when designing, so as to fit them in the workspace of the smaller machine models. When selecting the paper, you're suggested to pick 150 GSM paper that is thick, stiff, but translucent enough. By the way, to make a lamp using real scenes, you also need a smartphone, a camera, a drone, or whatever you have for photo taking. Okay, let's go and look for some beautiful scenes in the city. The next step is to use Inkscape to create patterns for laser cutting. It's quite easy to do this part, as it doesn't require any long-term learning or in-depth understanding of graphic designing. But to get perfect patterns, you need to spend a lot of time on refining the details. If you are interested, just check the Inkscape tutorial in the video description down below. Now we can import the SVG files into Snapmaker Luban and move on to the laser cutting part. It's recommended to set the laser parameters as follows. When finished, generate G-code, send it to the machine, and start cutting. The other parts of the lamp, including the outer frame, interlayer frames, and back panel, we can print them out. The STL files are also provided here in the video description. Import the STL files into Snapmaker Luban. Adjust the direction of the model to make it lay down on the platform. For the parameter setting, let's just select the normal mode. Now, change your Snapmaker from a laser engraver to a 3D printer and start printing. Stick the LED strips to the back panel with some hot melt glue and fix the cable to the corner. Lay the outer frame flat with its back facing upwards. Put the paper silhouettes in between each inner layer frame in the order of your design, and press down to make sure all the pieces are securely seated. You can also put in some extra frames to increase the height if needed. Finally, put a piece of blank paper on the top, and then the inner layer frame with a cable outlet. Cover the back with the back panel, clip the cable to the outlet, and fix the panel to the back with some glue. Nailed it. Have fun making.